Okay, you guys, so first things first, what you want to do is you want to make sure you prep your skin or either your client's skin. So today what I'm going to use is the Murad Hydrodynamic Quench Essence. I'm going to take a little pump of that. And then I'm just going to apply that to the skin. So basically what an essence is going to do is hydrate the skin. It's going to balance out the skin as well. Then you also want to make sure you follow up with a moisturizer. The moisturizer I'm going to use is Clinique Pep Start. So this moisturizer is basically for someone who has dry skin. Nicole has dry skin. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this moisturizer just to hydrate the skin. I'm just going to use a pearl size. And I'm just going to pat it into the skin because you want to make sure that it absorbs right into the skin. All right. So now that her skin is fully prepped, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sculpt her brows. I'm gonna sculpt her brows using the Makeup Forever Camouflage Palette. And then also the brush that I'm gonna use is the Bobbi Brown Brow Definer. First, I'm gonna brush up her brows. With brushing up your brows, you can definitely be able to tell the areas that you need to fill in versus filling in unnecessary areas and allowing your brows your brows to look harsh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these two colors right here. And I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Camouflage Concealer Brush. So what I'm doing now is just applying the product starting in the middle of the brow. The reason why I'm starting in the middle of the brow is because wherever you put the brush first, that's where you're going to apply the most product. So the look we're going to do today is a nice glowy bronze look. So now I'm just going to go right on top of the brow with a concealer. If you're going to sculpt on top of the brow, you want to make sure you use a flesh tone color. And if you decide to go a little lighter, make sure that you blend it in very well. Now what I'm about to do is use the Urban Decay Enigma Primer. The reason why I like the Enigma Primer because it cancels out any discoloration on the lid. So I'm just applying that with my finger and then I'm going to buff it in with a brush. So this would be for that everyday woman or man who does not want to wear eyeshadow. You could definitely just put this right on the lid and it'll definitely cancel out any discoloration. So now what I'm about to do is use the Shade and Diffuse Eye Brush from Bare Minerals just to buff that in. So as you can see, it definitely does neutralize any discoloration in the eye. If you're that client that doesn't have time or that person who does not have time, you can wear this by itself. You can set it with a powder, add your mascara, and go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a flesh tone color. This one is from Makeup Fiber. This is M8110. And I'm going to use this brush right here, the E300, to apply it. So I'm going to apply this right all over the lid. So I'm just applying this right all over the primer, the eyeshadow primer. And you want to make sure that you patch your shadow in Never sweep it because with you sweeping it, all you're doing is taking the shadow off. I 
again on the other side. The good thing about the E300 brush, you could use it to apply the shadow to your lid as well as your crease. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a warm color. This is from Makeup Forever, and this is Makeup Forever M636. And if you're not familiar as to where your crease is, what you can do is leave your eye open, and then buff circular motion right into the crease. So with you leaving your eye open, what's gonna happen is you're gonna apply proper placement so you won't have to worry about going too high or either too low. Again, you wanna make sure you do circular motion versus windshield wiper motion. Windshield wiper motion is just like this. That would create a muddy finish. So the next shade I'm going to use is the contour shade. It's a brown. And I'm going right in with the E300 brush. And I'm just pressing it right in to the outer V. So now I'm gonna go in with the caffeine Matcha Wake Up Wipes. These are by First Aid Beauty. First Aid Beauty is a very good brand because of the fact that it caters to people with rosacea, sensitive skin. So I'm just gonna use one of these wipes just to clean up a little bit of the fallout. It's all good. And it's also gonna brighten the skin. So, being as though we're doing a natural look, we're going to apply natural lashes. So when it comes to applying lashes, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you do not have to cut off any excess, so you want to measure it. And then gently apply the lash right in the middle of the eyelid. You want to make sure you press it right into the lash line. Another quick technique you can do is you can tilt your head back into the mirror and apply the lash. When you do that, that will make sure that your hand is very steady and you'll be able to lay down the lash exactly the way you want it. So I'm just pressing the lash right into the lash line just to make sure that it's secure. Okay, so I'm going right back in with the E300 and I'm just going to buff out any harsh lines. This is going to be a natural eye look. And I'm buffing in circular motion. So to create her wing liner today, I'm going to use the Sephora Collection High Precision Liquid Liner. So when you're applying liner, whether it's liquid, pencil, or gel, make sure that you start in the middle of the eyelid. So I know that you notice that I'm lifting up her eyelid if you're doing it on yourself. What you can do is tilt your head back, apply your arm onto the mirror for security, and then apply the liner. <laughs> 